Okay, in this video, we're going to look at how we solve equations which involve the modulus function. Okay, there's a couple of ways of doing this, but the easiest way of doing it really, and to avoid any confusion, is just to square both sides. So if we look at this first example, we've got the modulus. Uh, we've got the modulus of x plus 2 is equal to 4. So what we're going to do is just square both sides here. So we're just going to write this again as x plus 2 then squared is equal to 4 squared. Square the left-hand side, you'll have x squared plus 4x plus 4. That's still equal to 4 squared, which is 16. Bring everything to one side, you'll then have x squared plus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. All right, this factorizes using your sum and product method or whatever method you want to use to have be x plus 6 upon x uh, minus 2 is equal to 0, which means x plus 6 equals 0 which means x is equal to minus 6, or x minus 2 is equal to 0, which means x is equal to 2. Okay, there is another way of doing it, which is maybe a wee bit easier, but you might run into a few problems uh, sometimes. So the other way of doing it would be the following. It would be x plus 2, we have modulus of x plus 2 is equal to 4. That means the positive version is equal to 4, or it means the negative version is, and the other version then, is equal to minus 4 then. So uh, you've got x plus 2 is equal to 4. Bring the 2 across, you're going to have 4 minus 2, so x is equal to 2. Or over here, you're going to have x equals minus 4 minus 2, which means x is equal to minus 6. So you can see um, the different ways of doing that question. So in general here, we can say that uh, if modulus of f of x is equal to a, then f of x is equal to a, or f of x is equal to minus a. So we're going to look at a couple examples now on how we do that using that really quick method, the second method I've given you. So the second method then, just say we could say x equals, for this one, was modulus of x plus 1 equals 9. So x plus 1 equals 9, which means x is equal to 9 minus 1, so 8. Or you could have said x plus 1 equals minus 9 which means x is equal to minus 10. And this last one here, same idea, you could say 2x minus 5 is equal to 3, or you could say 2x minus 5 is equal to minus 3. So 2x is equal to 8, which means x is equal to 4. Or over here, 2x is equal to 2, which means x is equal to 1. In this example, this is a harder type. There's only the one option we can use to solve this one, and that is squaring both sides. So we have 2x minus 3 in the modulus, so it gets squared, and then we have x in the modulus, it gets squared. So if we square that out, you will have 4x squared minus 12x plus 9 is equal to x squared. Bring everything to one side, you'll have 3x squared minus 12x plus 9 is equal to 0. And then if you divide by... Uh, 3, you have x squared minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0, which means x minus 1, x minus 3 is equal to 0. So again, that means x minus 1 is equal to 0, which means x is equal to 1, or it means x minus 3 is equal to 0, which means x is equal to 3. So there's your two answers. Okay, so uh, generally, if a question has like some function of x, is equal to a not just a number a then you can just use that method f of x is equal to a or f of x is equal to minus a and then solve it but if it is equal to a i'll get rid of that sorry if it is equal to a function uh, f of x is maybe equal to another function of x so maybe a g of x like this then you have what you have to do is just square both sides and then just solve it like a regular quadratic or cubic or whatever it happens to be. But that is your starting point if it is one like this.